Hey crochet friends, welcome to Sugar Joy. This is Cindy and today I'm going to show you how I made this super easy single crochet four panel striped crop top. The top consists of four single crochet panels of the same size. Two are for the front and back and two are for the sleeves and they're stitched together at the shoulders and the underarms. The materials you'll need for this project are Karen one pound, 100% acrylic yarn in the colors of off-white, sunflower, rose, and aqua. And I used a size J or seven millimeter hook. You'll need a large metal tapestry needle, scissors, and 10 to 20 stitch markers, and a measuring tape. This is a loose fitting top, and will this particular pattern will fit uh, from a size 36 bust to a size 40 comfortably. And the only stitch that you need to know is a single crochet. So to start this project, we want to make our four panels and make ourselves a slip knot here. And we're going to chain 50 and we want to yarn over for our chain. And keep the stitches nice and relaxed. And the chain length, the 50 chain length, should come out to be about 20 inches. So we'll turn. And so we turn and working into the second chain, we'll do our first single crochet. And we will continue with single crochet for 12 rows. So after we do 12 rows of the first color off white, we'll do a color change to the sunflower. And how I do my color change is when I reach this last stitch here, I complete the single crochet and then I bring in the new color, lay it over the hook and that is my new chain. And I turn and work the first single crochet. And that gives us a nice even transition. And then I go ahead and clip the white, the first color. And then we'll do two rows of the sunflower. I wrote the pattern with uh, from bottom to top. And so we have 12 rows of off-white, two rows sunflower, eight rows of the rows, and two of the sunflower. And then I did 30 rows of the um, off-white to finish. With our panels completed, it's time to put it together. 
So you want to take two panels, lay one on top of the other, mark the corners with the stitch markers, and then we're going to mark the neckline. To find the center, I counted in from the edge 25 stitches and marked that with a stitch marker. From the marked center on the panel, measure four and a half inches on each side for a total of 11 inches for the neck opening and mark the ends with a stitch marker, matching the panels together, stitch to stitch. So the blanket stitch goes from top to bottom. So you find your two, your two matched up stitches there and you come in from the top pull through and leave a long enough tail that you're comfortable with to weave in and then uh, you will find your next pair of stitches which is these two guys right here and you work underneath so you're kind of just uh, the stitch works in a circle so there's our next two go underneath And we continue to our stitch marker. Now, you can also use a whip stitch. This just happens to be my favorite stitch. I like the way that it looks and finishes. It hides really well for the seams. And, uh, it's easy to do and it and it holds together well too. So we're at our spot and I go around, make a knot and then weave back along the top, you know, do a little in and out action because we want this to hold and we don't want it to come apart at the, you know, at the next seam. And I always go you know, err on the side of bigger than smaller because it's much easier to go in and add a couple stitches if you want it more narrow than it is to take them out. And so I'm gonna go all the way back here and then check to make sure that it's not, you know, gathered up and leave a tail clip and then I'll go back and weave those in. So once you've completed your shoulder seams and woven in your ends, then you want to lay the panels out flat with the seam sides up. To find the center fold of the sleeve, you count to 25 and mark the midpoint with a stitch marker. And then you'll stitch from end to end and complete the seam and then repeat on the other side with the other sleeve. And with your sleeves attached, you'll fold it in half at the neckline and you'll complete the L seam from the end of the sleeve to the armpit and then from the armpit to the bottom with your blanket stitch and repeat on the other side. Then turn it right side out, weave in your ends, and you're finished. As easy as that. For the complete pattern and a free downloadable PDF, please visit daisyfarmcrafts.com. Thanks for stopping by. And make sure to visit Tiffany and I on our crochet sister chat on the Daisy Farm crafts 
YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.